Good morning. My name is Maria Chiara Pastore. I am from the, the Department of Architecture and Urban Studies at the Politecnico di Milano. The objective of this lecture is to understand the different typologies of urban forestry. I would like to start with the FAO report issued in 2016 with the scope to address and to guide urban decision makers, civil servants, policy advisors and all the other stakeholders to develop urban and peri-urban forest as a way of meeting the present and future needs of city for forest product and ecosystem services. Specifically, page 3 of this report provides a list of the main urban forest types, which are peri-urban forest and woodlands, city parks and urban forests, major to 0.5 hectares, pocket parks and gardens with trees, minor to 0.5 hectares, trees on street or in public squares, and then other green spaces with trees. To introduce these categories, I have taken few satellite images from Milan from Google Maps. The first typology mentioned is peri-urban forests and woodlands, which include forests and woodlands surrounding towns and cities that can provide goods and services such as wood, fiber, fruits, other non-wood forest products, clean water, recreation and tourism. Here in the slide you can see the northern Milanese area with the park of a Piano del Gentile surrounding the cities. The second typology refers to city parks and urban forests, major to 0.5 hectares. Large urban or dis district park with a variety of land cover and at least partly equipped with facility for leisure and recreation, such as Parco Nord here in the map. The third typology comprises pocket parks and gardens with trees, minor to 0.5 hectares. Those are small district parks equipped with facilities for recreation or leisure and private gardens and green spaces. The map shows, for instance, the area surrounding Politecnico di Milano, with the different small parks around the area. The fourth typology comprises trees on street or in public squares, linear tree populations, small groups of trees, or individual trees in squares and in parking lots and on street such as the many trees that accompany the street in Milan. Here, uh, in the slide, you can see the area close to Viale Independenza. The last category includes other green spaces with trees. For example, urban agricultural plot, sport grounds, vacant lands, lawn, river banks, open fields, cemeteries and botanical garden, such as the peri-urban environment here you can see at the southern part of Milan. To the already mentioned categories provided by FAO, it would be important to add another category of urban forestry typology. This is green buildings, increasingly important in our cities. This additional category relates with buildings and complex of buildings with trees and shrub, which are structurally embedding in the facade of, and roofs. In the slide, you can see the Bosco Verticale in Milano. What do typology tell us about urban forestry? I find this particular question relevant in the urban planning field, not just when we study the existing city, but rather when we need to imagine the spaces within our cities where trees are not in an urban environment, but they should be. Today, when we say urban forestry, the most common idea that comes to mind is a forest in the middle of a city. It's not a problem, actually, or better. It would be open, fascinating idea on the needs and desire of having wild, inaccessible spaces within our dense, packed builds and road system. If we consider the main typologies defined by FAO, we already include a list of spaces that are existing in our minds and in our cities. An urban forest is indeed linear tree population or small groups of trees. We start and recognize that our cities are already hosting urban environments and forests. But when uh, our challenge, our goal is to increase and to integrate trees and shrubs within our cities, we really need to understand which spaces may host this revolution. Therefore, we need to better understand the potential focus that are included within the typologies. Here, with the project for Estami, that has the objective of increasing the natural capital of the metropolitan area of Milan by adding 3 million trees by 2030, we enlisted the ones that are particularly relevant within the metropolitan area. Parks and urban green areas, urban agriculture, courtyards and gardens, tree-lined avenues and squares, hedges and agricultural rows, parking lots, urban voids, commercial and productive areas. And then more specifically, for each of these potential focus, we try and provide example of areas of interest and spaces, such as street, pedestrian path, cycle path, 
urban parks, large square parks, brownfield sites, industrial sites, land reclamation sites, agricultural settlements and farms, cemeteries, place of worship, public housing, urban vegetable gardens, hospitals, parking lots, residential areas, roundabouts, railway yards, school, universities, and all cultivated green areas. When looking at these categories and areas of interest, and you consider the transformation of these spaces into urban forest, then you provide a new idea of city and introduce the concept of change into already existing established environments. The introduction of the categories is relevant for another purpose, to provide an understanding of the potential areas to be transformed and to explain to the different actors how urban forestry can be implemented within the existing urban environment. To the question, do you have available space for urban forestry? The answer is most of the time, no. But when you consider the specific characteristics of the municipalities, the cities, and then you start to ask questions like, do you have a cycle path eventually crossing agricultural field that today does not have a tree-lined areas, but it may be accompanied by trees in the future, provide the shade to the cycle path? The answer is possibly yes. To sum up, these three columns can be reinterpreted as on the left-hand side, the existing typologies of green system. At the center, we have the potential spatial categories that can host this transformation. And to the right-hand side, a list of pilot areas that can be physically entailed with this transformation. Thank you.